Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Muramasa Rebirth on the Sony PlayStation Vita. Continuing on, and we need to head back this way now. Destination, if you're not sure where to go next, press select to bring up the map and check where you should be heading. In addition, pressing the right analogue stick while the map is enlarged will allow you to move around the map. So let's check out the map. So select and you hit select again and we can look around by moving the right stick so I've got to head all the way left. So let's whiz through. I've heard there is a lot of backtracking in this game um, but the scenery is so lovely that I don't really mind to be honest. Plus there's going to be fights along the way as well so it's still interesting. I don't need to jump up on the trees because I collected all the souls um, in the previous video on the way so as far as I know they don't respawn. This game is just so gorgeous. It just looks so crisp and vibrant on the Vita screen. I'm looking forward to playing the male character as well actually because apparently it's two different storylines I wonder if they ever meet please don't spoil it for me <laughs> but I think it'd be really cool if they end up meeting in the game dropping down from above quickly press the down um, sorry Quickly press down on the left analogue stick to drop down from a tree branch or other high places. Well I've already been doing that in previous in the previous video, so <laughs> Yeah, come on. Oh yeah. You didn't last long. Such inferior ninjas compared to me. <laughs> I'll double check the map in a second. Almost there. Sweet! Broke the barrier. Off we go! I want all of these, I don't care. I just want them. Mine, my souls. Just checking if there's any treasure. <laughs> oh no, it's one up here. Cave trolls. Ten seconds. Your life is meaningless. Pretty sure that's the way I have to go, but I'm just gonna go over here and see if there's any goodies to be had. Inferno Amulet. Oh, I thought it was an item. Right, I'm going to go this way first of all. 
So I'm supposed to go up the other way, but I want to see if there's anything I can collect through here. Oh no! You are knocked back by the barrier. It seems you need a more powerful demon blade to break through. Barriers. Barriers are used to block off parts of the main road. If you examine one with a sufficiently powerful demon blade, you may be able to break through it. You can check which barriers you're able to destroy by looking at abilities from the menu screen. When you find a barrier with a matching colour displayed in the abilities screen, you are able to destroy the barrier. Right, so I haven't got the required blade. Aww. Back we go then. Oh, I missed one. Oh yeah. Thanks for whoever pointed that out to me that you can kill the furry eyeballs by doing that special blade skill. Cheers for that. Very much appreciated. Examine. You are knocked back by the barrier. It seems you need a more powerful demon blade to break through it. Right, okay. Down, down, down. He just refused to die then. Oh, nothing over here. Right, go over here first of all. Hello. さんに段階の居所を探せと仰せつかりましたが、手前どもでは手が足りず、土地の狐に助力を請いました。王子の狐らの申すには、九段の人物らしき僧を吉原界隈で見たとの話にございます。以上。<laughs> Monk muff diving! Oh, <laughs> that just sounds so wrong. Right. I think I'll stop this episode here, guys. Um, because there's probably going to be a boss. So yes. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. You have been watching Gadget Girl Kylie and this has been my let's play of Muramasa Rebirth on the Sony PlayStation Vita and I hope to see you next time guys.